Surrounding the Milky Way are more than 30 galaxies, collectively known as the Local Group. However, our Milky Way isn't the largest in this group. That title goes to the Andromeda Galaxy, often referred to as our Big Sister. Despite being one of the closest galaxies to us, Andromeda is still an astonishing 2.5 million light-years away, an almost unfathomable distance. Like the Milky Way, Andromeda is a spiral galaxy, but it earns the title of Big Sister because of its sheer size. It's much larger than our galaxy, and due to its immense size and brightness, Andromeda is the most distant object visible to the naked eye. This vast galaxy holds over a trillion stars, far outnumbering the Milky Way's estimated 200 to 400 billion stars. Stretching over 200,000 light-years in diameter, Andromeda is approximately twice the width of our own galaxy. But how did this giant neighbor grow to such proportions, and what lies within its blindingly bright center? Both the Milky Way and Andromeda likely formed around the same time, roughly 13.5 billion years ago, near the dawn of the universe. Over the eons, they've grown larger by absorbing smaller galaxies in their path. One fascinating and somewhat eerie fact is that in the distant future, the Milky Way will collide with Andromeda. Current estimates suggest the initial collision will occur in about 4 billion years. However, simulations predict it will take an additional 2 billion years for the two galaxies to fully merge into a new, massive galaxy. Once the merger occurs, our spiral galaxy, known for its magnificent, sweeping arms of bright stars, will transform into a single, massive structure, a type of galaxy called an elliptical galaxy. This artistic depiction shows what the sky might look like just before this monumental event takes place. Interestingly, both the Milky Way and Andromeda share a similar feature, a dense central bulge filled with bright stars. Hidden at the very heart of these bulges is a colossal gravitational force, a supermassive black hole. These black holes are incredibly massive, with a weight ranging from millions to billions of times that of our Sun. While astronomers are still unsure of the exact reasons these dark entities grow to such immense sizes, they suspect it might be related to their central position within their host galaxies. Recently, astronomers captured the first ever image of the supermassive black hole at the heart of our galaxy, Sagittarius A**, unveiling a stunning look at this cosmic giant. It's believed that nearly every large galaxy in the universe harbors a supermassive black hole at its center, lurking in the shadows. While breathtaking images like this one highlight Andromeda's extremely luminous central bulge of stars enveloping its concealed black hole, astronomers in 1993 were astonished to discover two blobs of light surrounding the core, one appearing blue and the other red. By 2012, they had determined that the blue blob is a cluster of young, hot stars encircling Andromeda's supermassive black hole, a feature similarly observed at the center of the Milky Way suggesting that this could be common across many galaxies. However, the red blob at Andromeda's core is actually an uneven elliptical disk of older stars surrounding the blue cluster and the supermassive black hole. This red stellar disk is absent in the Milky Way, leading astronomers to explore Andromeda's past to uncover what caused the formation of this enigmatic and lopsided disk. Astronomers may have recently uncovered a possible explanation, involving a massive cosmic collision. The supermassive black hole at the core of Andromeda is roughly 100 million times the mass of our Sun, making it 25 times more massive than Sagittarius A star. However, Andromeda's black hole likely wasn't always this immense, it grew over time by consuming various objects in its path, including other black holes. This insatiable cosmic appetite may have resulted in the formation of the uneven disk of ancient stars observed at the center of Andromeda. So, what could have transpired? The proposed sequence of events is thought to have occurred as follows, over a billion years ago, a galaxy collided and merged with Andromeda. The black hole from the merging galaxy drew nearer to Andromeda's larger black hole, and they began a violent orbital dance. During this process, material from the galaxies was pulled toward the black holes, giving rise to new stars that eventually formed a ring around them. Eventually, the black holes collided in a tremendous event, generating a burst of gravitational waves. If one of the black holes involved in the merger was significantly smaller than the other, this burst might not have radiated evenly in all directions, leading to a more concentrated blast. This uneven burst could have propelled the newly formed black hole in a particular direction, 
possibly reaching speeds of 200 km per second, around 125 miles per second. As this happened, the surrounding stars in orbit were also affected, disrupting their circular paths and transforming them into new elliptical orbits. In these orbits, the stars would accelerate as they drew nearer to the black hole and decelerate as they moved farther away. This could account for why Andromeda's central disk seems asymmetrical, with one side appearing much brighter than the other, due to a buildup of stars slowing down when farther from the black hole. The blue stars we observe are younger and likely appeared later through various potential scenarios. However, this is just one possible interpretation of what we are witnessing at the core of Andromeda. While this recent research marks an important first step toward understanding what is occurring, it is only the beginning. As technology continues to progress, we will have the capability to delve even further into the centers of nearby galaxies, offering us deeper insights into how galaxies like Andromeda, and even our own, have evolved over billions of years.